What's going on everyone? This is Mark here and today I'm bringing you a nice quick fun video on how to cross train your Filipino martial arts weapon skills. Um, for those of you that don't know, the weapon that I'm currently holding in my hand is more popularized with the term nunchucks from the Japanese system, but this is also an integral piece to Filipino martial arts called tabatoyo. Now, when it comes to cross-training weapons, or even just cross-training your skills, we often talk about Filipino martial arts being a system, which translates further into the techniques you have with your empty hand, should be able to be translated to your stick, to be translated into your knife concepts, and all the way back around. Um, and, and so with that, you do get cross-training within your own rights of the curriculum, but sometimes it's nice to just break away from doing the same old it's uh, kind of like the same topic I, I spoke about in my last video about elevating your flow drills. You don't necessarily need more technique or you need a new set of, of flowing. You could take the same template or the same 10 basic strikes you have and try to apply those techniques in other formats. And in this case, we're going to be looking at how the tabak toyok or the nunchucks are going to help elevate and cross train your single stick skills. So there's three techniques that I want to show you guys when it comes to cross-training it into the Tabuktoyo. And the reason why we want to do this is not to say that we can use more weapons, it's to give ourselves a little bit more perspective on the actual movement. Sometimes when you look at an X pattern, it's an angle one and an angle two, drawing this giant X in front of you, and you focus so much on the stick that you forget about the structure, the framework, and all the additional cues that can further improve your X pattern. Swinging a stick will have a, a, a cap, and in order to increase your ability to swing the stick, you got to look elsewhere. So, the Tapatoik is going to bring that out of you. There is versions with rope in between the two. Um, this could be wooden. I'm just using a foam training nunchuck just to help illustrate, and these are very, very accessible. I'm sure you can order this off of Amazon or at your local martial arts supplier. But because of the chain, we call this a flexible weapon. So unlike the stick that's going to be one solid line, this can kind of twist and twirl. And so in order to control such a dynamic weapon, you can't just swing it. Because if I were to just swing it, it'll kind of lose its track. So when I swing it, what I want to do is I want to make sure I'm twisting my shoulder and my hip. And that's a very, very important principle in power generation when you give your angles one or your angle two. So as I twirl this, it's almost like I'm throwing it off of my shoulder. If I just stand here and do this, eventually it's wild and you can see it's starting to hit my arm here. So I need to turn with it and kind of work with the angles. If I turn to the side so you can kind of see it, I'm turning with the angles and the power is coming from my core, not from my wrist twirling the tabak toyok like this and or the stick. Okay, so that's the first and easy way you can do that with a side to side. You can do that with a reverse X as well. And it's about using your framework, your core, where the bigger muscles are. So you can do this for a long time or you can develop an extreme amount of power in that one solid rep. So the second one I want to go over is what we call the trapilon. It's a very, very uh, popular strike within the bias Resmato system, within Anastasio Kuli as well. And it's what we call a twisting strike. So basically there's going to be an angle one with a circular rotation in between. And what we're trying to focus on is the with tick principle or the whipping principle. So generally when you do it with a stick or with any other weapon, you would hear a big whipping sound down the end. And in order to get a good whipping sound or to get a good whipping effect, you've got to have good power in your wrist flexors to be able to kind of shoot that stick forward, pull it back, and whip back down. So with this being a little bit more dynamic, that's going to help us get that position, but also again, not forget about the framework of twisting our shoulders and our hips. Because if I just twist this in front of me here, it's going to come right back into my face. So I'm going to work with it. I'm going to be holding it in what we call the slingshot method or the slingshot grip. Okay? And I'm going to flick it forward. And as I do that, I need to carry it forward with my body and finish with the actual strike. So I can't just stand here and twist. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to get the same confidence and I will definitely not get the same amount of power. So I have the slingshot grip. I launch it and I get to flow it through. When I launch it, it's this giant whip going down on the second side and not just me twirling a stick and kind of just giving this kind of diagonal loop here. Okay, this is a product of my body, of my core twisting. So 
I get a big trapilon, and then I can take that kind of motion here and bring it back into the stick. And of course, the third one, the most popular one, is your sinawali. Okay, so your sinawali is kind of just weaving through, sometimes it's called the carenza, and, and this is can be structured, like we have a, a basic single sinawali or double stick sinawali in the curriculum, but ultimately we like to kind of freestyle with this. So the same concept. Now, you may not be able to directly apply the sinawali that you're going to do with the tabak toyo, but what you can do is you can start seeing different angles and see the way that your body reacts with the different strikes. And so this back chamber might translate into your sinawali. This kind of rotation going across your body might go into your sinawali. And again, it may, you may not bounce the stick off your body here, but it will give you some more perspective, teach you a little bit more about angles, combining your body framework with the weapon itself, and then you're gonna piece together a sinawali that's a little bit more educated than it was before. So, it's a nice and quick video. Again, these are super accessible. This isn't like a special Filipino martial arts weapon that you have to special order and whatnot. So, go ahead and grab yourself a pair, have fun with what you already know, and just look at things in different lights. Help, it, help yourself appreciate these techniques uh, a little bit more than you would doing the same old thing. Not that it's wrong, repetition is the key to success, but hey, let's have fun as we train. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, comment below if you want to see anything particular, any topics you have in mind. Anastasia Kalis February online membership, basic access, two lessons that we teach here at the Academy, Union Martial Arts, will be available very, very shortly. So go ahead and check that out, sign up, $50 per month, no commitment. Get yourself your Filipino martial arts training. Until next time, catch you guys then.